Hey, what's up guys? So today I have the start of a new series that I randomly thought of. Not even sure if it's a good idea, but we're going for it anyway. And of course it's unnamed because I'm not creative like that. But basically it consists of me asking you all a question on my Instagram and I basically get all of your responses and share them. So it's like a Q&A except I'm asking the questions and you all are answering. So the question for this week, which I posted, as I said, on my Instagram, which is just keep cubing if you're curious, was what is the worst cubing advice that you've been given? And I got 152 comments, so of course I can't fit all 152 of those into this video. So I'm just going to pick and choose some to share out and maybe comment about. So the first one that I see right here that kind of sticks out to me is U2 with double flick is inefficient. That is incredibly incorrect. In fact, I'm trying to learn how to double flick with my left hand. I know how to do it with my right hand. It's very difficult, but people get so much faster, especially at, I believe, OLL parity on 4x4 once they learn how to do that. So I'm working on that. The next one I see is CFOF is slower than beginner's method. That's actually somewhat correct. When you're first learning CFOP, it can be slower. So, of course, when you're learning a new method, you start off slower until you get more comfortable with it. So, that's somewhat correct. However, in the long run, that is definitely bad advice because CFOP oh, is a lot faster than beginner's method once you get good. The next one that I kind of see is... Putting the edges in first makes F2L faster. Not even sure where someone came up with that one because that's not really how F2L even works. So I'm, I'm not sure where you came up with that, whoever said that to Will. Let's see. Buy a clock. It'll totally be worth it. I solved the clock once, never again. Probably won't ever buy one or solve one again. <laughs> Then my sister decided to leave a heartwarming comment saying, literally everything you've ever told me. Alright, cool Kay, I just won't help you anymore. Speaking of my sister, she's actually competing for the first time in a month or less than a month at Weston Spring in Massachusetts. So catch us there, I'm excited. She just wants to get a better average than Abdullah first got, so basically anything but a DNF. <laughs> So the next one I see is you don't have to worry about look ahead until you're around 15 seconds. That is very inaccurate. Sorry to whoever or to cubologist and whoever told you that not sure where they came up with that. <laughs> then let's see put the cube in the microwave to warm up the lube. That is actually like really funny. I would never think to even do that i know that i've left cubes in the hot car and it does make the lube kind of like work in almost however microwaving a plastic cube would obviously melt the plastic <laughs> and use yaw one five by five some people can be fast with that however most people use reduction i use reduction i've tried using yaw not really the move i wouldn't recommend it however i do know some people who have used yaw and are successful at it Learn F2L without tutorials. I did that, so I can't really have a comment on that. I didn't use a tutorial. I don't use algorithms. I would definitely say that's probably not the best thing to do, though, because there's a lot of cases that I do incredibly inefficiently. So if you're learning F2L right now, do learn some algorithms, maybe not all algorithms, but learn the hard cases. That's something that I should probably do, but too lazy. I am going to post the next question on my Instagram right after this, so be sure to check it out and leave your comment, and maybe next week you'll be included. Sorry for anybody who wasn't this week. Again, there just wasn't enough time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!